somebody who's in a mentorship role, um, do you use that outside of New Zealand at all? Uh, I guess quite naturally, yeah. I'm in, a, I'm in a couple of groups where I sort of take leadership positions in social groups, I'm in an expats group for example, and I'm running events for them. Um, I'm in a band, it's a South American samba band, strange for a skinny white guy, but <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a section leader in that as well, and yeah, I, I guess so. It's kind of maybe not just a natural attribute. You're obviously quite uh, passionate about your technology. Is there anything that you do outside of work to uh, give back? Uh, I guess the most recent thing I, I've done, I was involved in a, a hackathon called J-Hack recently where I mentored a, a bunch of kids, school kids from ages 7 to 16 up. Um, MIT ran, ran this event where I think it was about 170 kids on a day um, using the game Minecraft where they were manipulating the game through code. So I, I, met, I went down to the school two or three times every week for a month just to teach them how to code. And um, yeah, just try and get kids into tech. There's a lot of opportunities, but I think kids at that age don't really know what coding is. They don't know a lot about the IT, IT industry. So yeah, it was just a really rewarding experience. You mentioned that you are mentoring um, other people. Is that something that you received yourself from a role model? Yep, absolutely. So my first job uh, back in Ireland was with a, a R&D, a software company. Um, out of college I was still pretty green. Um, I was lucky enough to find myself in a small company where you get exposed to all sorts of different scenarios and you're asked to do pretty much everything. So um, we, had, we had a few very good people there and I got sort of taken under their wings. Uh, I found myself moving, moving along quite quickly in, in that environment, so that was great.